Hello, my name is Ali, and welcome to my channel. We are back with Hakuoki Kyoto Win. Sanon's route, I almost forgot. Let's go. Their back and forth continued, but my mind was elsewhere. Last night's rain left a number of puddles on the road, and when I looked into them, I saw a strange girl who looked just like me. Kaoru, huh? Wind caught the surface of the puddle, sending a flurry of ripples across it. Come on, let's get moving. All right, I'm coming. I turned and ran toward Heisuke and Okita, already on their way back to the headquarters. The temple was much larger than the compound in Nibu, as advertised. The whole Shinsengumi could gather in the common room with space to spare. As Kondo spoke, his voice echoed gra grandly throughout the hall. Standing before Kondo were the many proud men under his leadership with glowing expressions. By now, I imagine you have all heard that Emochi Tokugawa, the 14th shogun of the Tokugawa shogunate, will be visiting our city of Kyoto. The Shinsengumi have been asked to guard him as he passes through the city on his way to Nijo Castle. What? The Shinsengumi guards the Shogun? Wow, that's one big promotion. Heh. <laughs> Too hard for them to ignore us after Ikeda and Hamagiri, huh? Our work's finally paying off. Guess you could say the fate of the country will be resting on our swords, huh? That's exactly it. You guys better be ready for it. Guarding the Shogun? That is one big role. Indeed. If only Sanon was alive, he would have been so happy. I gave him the same voice. Oops. How truly dreadful to have lost such an ally. Ito wiped crocodile tears away from his eyes with a silk handkerchief. Ito and his followers were told Sanon died. In fact, the entire incident surrounding his transformation had been covered up. Only a few of the men of the Shinsengumi knew the truth. Aw, oh, Ito. I think performing the job given to us by the Shogun is what Sonon would have wanted. Yes, I understand. This is an excellent opportunity for us to thrust our name into the forefront of the masses. Things are going to get pretty hectic soon. We ought to get our assignments hashed out. To begin, I'd like Toshi, Soji, and myself to... Sorry, Kondo. But you think maybe Soji can sit this one out? Hmm, why's that? Supposedly his cold hasn't recovered. I've repeatedly told him to take care of himself. What? Soji, is this true? Are you alright? The demon's just being a mother hen, sir. I think I'm fine. Don't give me that crap. You just about coughed up a lung earlier. Is that your excuse to sell me some meds? No matter what, I won't buy Ishida medicinal powder. That's not what I'm trying to do. Just shut up and follow my orders. I gave Okita some pretty strong medicine not too long ago. I wonder if that didn't work. Or maybe he doesn't have a cold, but rather he's inhaling dust from the lack of cleaning here. Then, suddenly someone raised his hand. What's the matter, Heisuke? Something on your mind? Uh, um, Kondo, I'm not feeling so great either. You too, Heisuke? You better take care of yourself. This is our time to shine. I was hoping to have all of us there to greet the Shogun. Yeah, sorry. Oh, no, no. Your health comes first. Always. I'm sure you'll have another chance. I just have to make sure you get to do something spectacular. Kondo and Hijikata continued to discuss their formation, but suddenly Hijikata turned to me. All right, what are you going to do? Um, what? Don't give me that. I'm asking if you're coming with us or not. I, I can go too? Of course. We certainly won't mind. After all, you're practically one of us. If you want, I'd love to have you come. Could I? Could I really go? I hesitated for a moment, confused, and Okita laughed. <laughs> Why don't you go? It 
doesn't seem too dangerous either. Yeah, the Choshu Domain can't come in or out of Kyoto, so I'm sure there will be no fights. What should I do? I'm just a little concerned about a person like me, who's not a warrior coming along, but I was feeling emotionally strained with no leads of my father turning up on rounds. I'll go. All right, then. I figured we'd put you in charge of running errands as a messenger. I'm using the hell out of you, so brace yourself. In the early days of the Tokugawa shogunate, Nijo Castle was a place for the shogun to stay on his way to the capital. It's been a while since the shogun actually stayed in it, though. We'd met the shogun on the road and begun our escort about 30 minutes earlier, and arrived at the castle relatively recently. By now, I imagined Kondo, Nagakura, Inoue, and the men were greeting the officials and other important people in the shogun's retinue. Well, I've got a job to do. It was my job to tell soldiers when to change shifts and to carry messages back and forth. A glorified errand girl, in other words. I don't see myself as being useless, though, I think. Um, I've come with a message. What? You're the messenger? This isn't the playground, you know. Well, I'm not here to play. Heh. <laughs> Is that so? Then what could someone like you, who can't even use a sword, do for anyone? I've come here to do what I can do. Would you mind if we stopped playing games? Speak. The chief is currently going around, paying his respects to the people in the castle. Everyone else continue with the guard. Message received. Huh? That's it? It's that simple? What's up with your dumb face? Surprised I listened to your message? Oh, well, no, I just... A job is a job. I don't plan on making it personal. All right, you delivered your message. Get out of here. Uh, okay. Miki and I never really got on the best of terms, but maybe he's a responsible person. After he shooed me away, I continued attending to my duties as a messenger. In the surroundings of Nijo Castle, I could see the, I can see the warriors wearing a white uniform, which was different than the afternoon uniform. They don't seem too nervous, but I guess it makes sense. Some of the imperial nationalist extremists were driven out of Kyoto, and many warriors fled. There's no way anything would happen. Spoke too soon. A sudden chill ran down the length of my spine. I froze. Ah! Uh, I knew this feeling. A length of cold steel seeking entry into your flesh, eyes shining with a lust for blood and violence. Since I'd begun living with the Shinsengumi, I felt it more than once. Bloodlust. My eyes were drawn to the roof, where no one would think to look. A large wall cast a shadow, shielding a section of the roof from the moonlight. There they stood. Derp. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. You. So, you've noticed us. Not too slow, then. They looked very distinctive, unlike any soldiers I'd seen before. But three sets of piercing eyes sh scattered, I was going to say shattered, scattered my thoughts, making it hard to think. I had recognized them. Now, I had to put names to faces. Chikage Kazuma, Kyuju Amagiri, and Kyo Shiranui. They were connected to both the Satsuma and the Choshu, and they'd made an effort to impede the Shinsenkumi at Ikeda and again at Amagiri. Why are you here? <laughs> you mean, how did we get here, right? Well, the answer is simple. Man-made obstacles like these are shit to a demon. We are here for a specific purpose. That purpose is you, Chizuru Yukimura. We are here for you. What? My heart was pounding so hard it could burst. Why do these men know my name? I... I don't understand. 
A demon? What do you mean? And what are you here for? No, you must be joking. How can you ask what a demon is? Perhaps you're the one joking here. He stepped forward, cloaked in shadows. When Amagiri spoke, it was calm and peaceful, as if he was reasoning with a frightened child. Do your injuries heal quickly? I held my breath. Do you heal from injuries faster than any human could? How does he know my secret? I've never revealed it to anyone before. Well, I... Words struggled to come to mind, and just as I was about to deny their accusations. What the hell? Maybe it'd be quicker if we just give her a demonstration. Shirinui's gun glistened eerily. <laughs> Shirinui, do you really intend on injuring such a rare female demon? Hey, don't tell me what to do. The kid's being stubborn, so what can I do? After Kazuma glared at Shirinui, his eyes drifted towards the Kadachi on my hip again. You don't need words. Her family name is Demons, and she carries the Demon of the East Kadachi. This is enough proof. My family name? What was wrong with Yukimira? I didn't understand what he was saying, and the cold sweat started inching down my spine. Then again, it isn't as though we need your permission to kidnap you. Female demons are rare. Now come with me. His hand stretched out from the darkness, pale and grasping like the tentacle of some hideous subterranean monster. Slash. Then a blade flickered through the night. Whoa there, pal. Trying to pick up chicks in the back alley? That's not creepy at all. You again? The culture and the nose of a dog, I see. One could say the same of you. Harada, Saito. My legs almost collapsed, as if the now shattered tension was the only thing keeping me standing. I teetered backwards, my balance momentarily lost. A strong, sinewy hand caught me and pulled me back, its grip hard as steel. Stay back. Hijikata. One hand guided me around behind him, even as the other drew his sword. I figured you were here for the shogun's head. What do you want from a kid? I've little interest in you or the shogun right now. The matter at hand concerns only us demons. Demons? His eyes narrowed. Hijikata seemed perplexed by Kazuma's statement, as if contemplating the possibility of its truth. <laughs> Haven't seen these punks since Hamagiri. I guess we're faded, huh? Doesn't make me particularly happy. True, though I feel little at this reunion. So are you going to be in our way? Then. The tension was so thick in the air that I could scarcely breathe. They were a powder keg, ready to explode. Even the slightest movement could set them off. It wasn't like I could do much, but I still wanted to help them, so I grabbed my sword. Don't worry about the commander and the captains. Y Yamazaki, when did you? I've been ordered to return you to headquarters. Then you're telling me to run away? Exactly. Even if you were here, there would be nothing you could do. <laughs> I mean, he may be right, but... I let's see what we're gonna do come on we're gonna load I am going to come on where are you go back to headquarters all right I couldn't find it on the it's been so long since we had an answer choice I didn't know run even as I ran back to the headquarters with Yamazaki I couldn't shake the fear in my heart when I finally got to the compounds, I still felt nervous, and I could do nothing but stare into the blank darkness behind me. <laughs> You're fine now. I'm sure they can't follow you here. We are going to say, wow, two choices, so close, but... But... I feel really bad saying this when you're worried, but I must return to the commander. If everyone is out to protect the Shogun, 
then most of the warriors aren't going to be here. I think it's most safe for you to be with Okita or Toto. Okay, understood. Well, I'll leave the rest to you. With that, he disappeared back into the darkness. <laughs> Suddenly, the night felt very quiet. The word demon echoed through my head, and their faces floated in front of my eyes. I shook my head. As the temple came back into focus, I felt very, very alone. As Yamazaki said, I could go find Okita or Heisuke. But whom should I look for? We are going to look for Heisuke. So many choices in one episode. The night compounds that I'm so used to felt like a place I don't know. Nearly all of the members of the Shinsengumi left to guard the Shogun, which meant the compound was still cold and oddly silent. So when I spotted Heisuke, I was quite relieved. Heisuke. Huh? Chizuru? What are you doing here all alone? Did you guys already finish with the Shogun? Um, actually, I didn't know where to start. Stumbling over my words more often than not, I poured out the whole story. At the mention of Amagiri, the man who'd wounded Heisuke at Ikeda, he scowled. That guy came to Nijo Castle. And not only that, they came for you? Yeah. Are you sure they weren't mistaken? Maybe they mixed you up with someone else. I don't think so. I don't know how, but they knew my name. Oops, we are going to... I see, that's kind of creepy. What are we going to do now? Yeah, it is. Man, this is like our fourth answer choice. Yeah, it is. But it's all right now, so don't worry. Thanks. But wait. I thought you didn't feel well. Shouldn't you be resting inside? Or better yet, I'll prepare some medicine. Oh, about that. Um, actually, the truth is, I'm fine. I lied. What? Why? He looked at me for a moment, then shook his head in defeat. I didn't want to leave to guard the Shogun. What do you mean you didn't want to go? Why? Heisuke seemed to be unsure whether to open up, and he looked up at the night sky for a moment. Eventually, he slowly but quietly continued speaking. Well, Kondo, Hijikata, the Shogunate, they all respect Emochi very much. But I just can't get myself to feel the same way. What do you mean by that? I was in disbelief that he would admit such a thing, so I had to ask. I don't think you know since you haven't been back to Edo lately, but in Edo, you can see foreigners building all these towers, setting up shop like they own the place. But it seems like the officials of the Shogunate don't think anything of that. Does he really plan on expelling the foreigners? It's starting to make me feel like he has no interest in protecting the civilians of Edo. So, under these circumstances, here comes the Shogun. It left a bad taste in my mouth. <laughs> Besides, you heard about it, right? About that serum? My heart pounded. I did. That was all orders given by the Shogunate. Kondo believed that if we worked hard and showed some results, someday the Shogunate would approve of our efforts, but... I can't shake this feeling, knowing there's a high chance they'll just use us, then throw us away. Hey, Sakei. Oh, don't get me wrong, though. I'm not saying that I have an issue with how Kondo and Hijikata are running things. I mean, I really do like them and respect them enough that I've moved all the way to Kyoto with them. Heisuke's eyes were filled with confusion and pain, and it hurt my heart seeing them. To be in the predicament of not knowing what's right or wrong, and how to confront being loyal to something you don't believe in. So, was that why you invited Ito to the Shinsengumi? Yeah. Ito is very in tune with politics, and he keeps up with trends and has a lot of connections. I would have thought he might lead the troops in a good direction. Well, at least better than now. Um, as any group grows, it must begin to accept people with differing viewpoints. 
Size and human nature simply decrees it cannot be tightly focused forever. So long as the Shinsengumi fought in, fr in the front lines of the any war, it would lose friends to death. But how many, many might it lose, I wonder, to differences of opinions? I did my best to put the thought from my mind. Enjoy the present. Don't worry about the future. That was what I truly believed, and I quietly looked up at the starry sky. Since then, once the rest of the men returned, there was a meeting among the capsta captain, captains, captains, wow. The subject of the meeting was the three men of Nijo Castle, Chikage Kazuma, Kyuju Amagiri, and Kyo Shiranui. They called themselves demons, and their previous encounters with the Shinsengumi suggested they were somehow involved with the Satsuma and Choshu. The Satsuma were the most powerful domain in the opposition domain. That sounds weird. In the most powerful domain in the opposition domain. And the Choshu are publicly expressive of their descent towards the Shogunate. The Choshu are essentially enemies. Enemies and enemy. The Choshu are essentially enemies of the court. I don't know how the three men are supposedly affiliated with the domains, but it was abundantly clear they are not to be dealt with carelessly. There was another problem, however. Why had they come for me? They said that I was one of them and knew about my family name and my Kadachi. But how? I'm going to let you guys go here. I hope you are enjoying and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.